morning, friends. I hope that you're doing well. I hope this video finds you well. Um, I hope that you're finding the earthworm study interesting. Today we're going to read another book about wiggly earthworms. Um, so today is Tuesday, June 2nd, 2020. You find me in a different location today because I have I went for a walk and I fell. Crazy, right? I stepped on something, I rolled my ankle, and I fell. So my ankle kind of hurts, so I'm kind of sitting a little bit today in a different spot that is comfortable for me. Um, so I just wanted to give you a little heads up about what's going on with me. So just make sure that when you're out there, be really careful, right? Okay? Bye. <laughs> so wiggling earthworms. So today we're going to have tons of information about earthworms. I just want you to think about two things while we're, while we're doing it, while we're reading this book. What are some interesting things that you're learning about earthworms? And how do earthworms help the earth around us? And how do they help us? Right? Think about it. So earthworms' bodies. Earthworms are soft and wiggly. Their long bodies have no legs or feet. So this is learning that we've already done. So we already know this, right? Earthworms sense light with their skin. Most earthworms have pink or brown skin. So yesterday's book, they said that there were some white ones too. Isn't that interesting? So every book has different information. Ooh, I went too fast here. Their bodies have many segments. Remember, yesterday we called this bands, right? Or rings. So another piece of information. So this is, can also be called segments. So we know three words for this one piece on a worm. We learned rings, segments, and what was the other one? No, I just drew a blank. A tiny mouth is at the end, at the front end. So we learned that yesterday. They do have a mouth. Earthworms have no eyes or ears. We already knew that. Oh, it's called rings, bands, and segments. Sorry about that. Just remembered. The back end has a hole for waste. So the stuff comes out. Where to find earthworms? Now think about where you've seen earthworms, right? So we already know this one before even reading. Earthworms live in warm, wet dirt. Well, we know that they live in the dirt because that's where most of the time we find them. Some live under wet leaves on the ground. So the naturalist yesterday showed you where you could find these worms, and they're under leaves. Some live in tunnels. Earthworms often come above the ground when it rains. So we learned that yesterday. They like the, wa the, the water. Some burrow deep underground. Food. So this is what they do for us. Ready? Earthworms eat mostly dead plants. So if something is dead, is it good for us? Probably not. So they eat the dead plants. They find leaves and roots in the dirt. Okay. They also eat animal waste in the soil. So if there's bad things in the soil, like waste products, they eat them too. So they're getting rid of waste. They're getting rid of dead leaves and plants. Earthworms move. Oh, what earthworms do? Earthworms move by using their muscles to wiggle and stretch. They leave their waste in the dirt as they move. So they take the junky stuff and they make it into good soil. The waste makes the soil healthy for plants. Waste feeds plants so they can grow. Okay? So they take all the junky stuff that plants and animals leave behind, and they turn it into healthy stuff, healthy soil for the plants. So roots need air and water to grow. Earthworms tunnel to bring air and water to the roots of the plants. So this is something important that they do. So these holes that they make in the ground let these roots grow deep and strong. Earthworms help our plants and gardens grow. 
So if you happen to see an earthworm, make sure that you put it by a garden. So earthworm parts. So this one is not nearly as detailed as the one that we saw yesterday, but it's good to see. Mouth, front end, back end, segments. So today we're going to do something like this, a label. So I'll show you what the document's going to look like today. Here we go. And so here's our picture. I don't want you to worry if you don't, if you can't print this, just try to draw it the best you can. You could draw a worm, you could draw roots, you could draw the grass and the soil. Okay. So don't worry if you can't print it. Don't, I don't want you, you could draw this picture on your own too, right? And I could show you how to do that. Okay. So here are our words that we're going to have to label today. So we have the word worm. So where's a picture of the worm? Here, right? Which, which is the best spot if I want to write the label for worm? Probably here, right? So here we go. Worm. Okay. Roots, right? We know what roots are from our tree study two weeks ago. So these are the roots. And this brown stuff all around in the picture is what? Soil. I just wanted to try something a little different today. And keep you interested. And this whole part, this green area is called what? Grass. Right? So let me show you the label. Grass. Once again, I don't want you to worry if you can't print this. Just draw it on your own so we could do that together. Watch. This is how we could do it together. All right? The labels are still going to stay the same. I'm going to draw a big square. Here's my square, you know. Well, here's my square, my, my picture. All right, the first thing we do is draw grass. All right, so this is all grass, 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 grass. All right, and so now I'm gonna draw my worm right in the middle. See how easy it is? So I don't want you to worry. I can't keep telling you that enough. This is not a big deal. You can draw it on your own. Then we gotta draw some roots here for the grass. We'll color our roots kind of like yellowish. Here's my roots. See how easy it is? Now we do the same thing. We do our label. Worm. Grat roots. Grass. What else? And soil, right? So then you could you could get some brown. I don't have brown on this palette for some reason. So the rest of it would be soil, right? All this area. Okay. See? Not that bad. Hope that you're doing well. I hope this video finds you well. Holy mackerel. I forgot to put a hat on today. Jeez, look at this. Uh, hope that you're doing well. Be safe out there. Be careful where you're stepping. Because then you'll be like me with a hurt ankle. Bye.